Okay, fellas, we're gonna learn you something new today. <laughs> so, I uh, have my Arduino Uno over there that I made a Facebook post photo, or you know, with a photo of it last night. And my CAN bus wires come out of my Mega Squirt 2. Going into the, um, it's MC2515, I think, CAN bus um, module, and then going into the Arduino. I just got done going into the Mega Squirt 2 parameters and set up, uh, da or, yeah, dash broadcasting over CAN bus. It's really simple. You literally just go in there and you just, you turn it on the, the, um, leave the setting to normal instead of advanced and burn it and you're good to go. So, now I have my program up. If this thing will focus. Hold on. I'm going to get this thing to focus. Okay, it's focused. Finally. So, I'm going to bring up the serial plot or monitor. Serial monitor. And look at that. It's reading CAN bus. So, right now, all I have it, and it's not reading all CAN bus, mind you. It is reading, right now, I only have it set up for reading, I believe it's the. Hold on. Instead of believing, I'm going to show you. Let's see. Scroll down my code here. And move this over. Okay, so it's the map reading, RPM, coolant temp, and TPS in that order on the screen that we had. Now, mind you, I still that's in raw byte form, and people are probably going to rip my head off because that could be the wrong word for it. But I know it's saving them or printing them to the serial monitor in bytes. Like zero to two fifty five. So this right here, these two lines are the map sensor. These two lines are the um yeah map should be RPM. Then what was the other ones? Coolant uh, wait, map RPM. That's coolant temp, or should be coolant temp, and TPS right here. Now, I still got to figure out why, like, my map reading and this reading are so hot. Like, I know the map reading's around 100 kp. I just got to decipher the CAN data. But just to show, or to prove that's working, my throttle's right there. So what I'm going to do, if this thing will focus, there we go, is I'm going to press on back and forth on the throttle and watch these numbers change. So that's proof of concept right there that I'm getting my TPS input data into the Arduino along with the other data. Now, I know there's like division factors and stuff. I've got to go into the MS CAN. Um, there's a PDF that you can get off of MS Extra that show or that describes how this thing communicates and what like division factors you have to do to get the right R RPM and whatever else but just proof of concept I've got it at least getting CAN bus network messages into the Arduino which I know for some probably isn't a ton you know oh it shouldn't be that hard well this is only sniffing one packet out of all the packets that, that dash send or that dash command sends out from the MS2 so I've got to again work with it and get to where it's usable data and serial prints usable information instead of just this, these CAN bus networks messages. But it's a very big progress or step forward in progress. So thank you guys for watching and keeping track of my progress on this stuff. And uh, just stay tuned because I will be posting more information as I get it. Thank you.